happenings, everybody? It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Wednesday. So, folks, I was perusing YouTube this morning, as I normally do while I was enjoying my bagel and fresh cup of coffee for breakfast. And in doing so, I came across a new channel. A channel by the name of Commenting Collector. And uh, how I came across this channel is uh, I saw a few of the channels I'm subscribed to uh, do video responses for his um, ongoing giveaway, which actually ends uh, this Saturday, the 23rd. And uh, originally, he was doing this giveaway for hitting 75 subscribers, but he actually... Um, had to bump things up a bit because now he's sitting at 97 subscribers so he's only three away from the big 100 and actually uh, if anyone out there uh, isn't subscribed to commenting collector um, go check out his channel you know um, he's got a variety of stuff and I really dig that and uh, yeah if uh, if there's something on his channel that piques your interest, well, heck, you know, drop a sub and, uh, you know, leave some positive feedback and whatnot. And uh, if you like the idea for this uh, this uh, VR, then uh, give her a shot as well. So um, the ones I saw doing video responses for uh, Commenting Collector's Giveaway were uh, good folks such as God is Great, uh, Collector Holic, um, uh, Fast Breaks and Breakfast, etc., etc. So when I saw them getting in on it, and when I saw what the VR was all about, I was like, yeah, I gotta get on this too. So here we are. So basically, uh, commenting collector wants you to show off um, some non-sports cards and I definitely have my fair share of non-sports cards in fact uh, some of the stuff I'm gonna be showing in this video was just you know in arm's reach I didn't actually really go do a deep dive because you know I, I could have shown off all my um, 53 tops, um, you know, world on wheels cars, etc., etc. So I just went with what was in arm's reach. So, but first things first, it's safe to say that I love sports cards. I mean, I have my fair share of them. I love vintage, I love modern, you know, whether it be hockey or baseball, you know, I, I love sports cards, but at the same time, I also really love non-sports cards, because there's so much variety that one can just lose their mind when it comes to non-sports type cards. So, that leaves me with a big starting point, and that is, where do I start here? And I think I'm going to start with um, one of my original loves, comic books. And we all know there are tons of comic book related cards out there. And uh, I went digging through one of my my boxes, and I just happened to pull one of these out. This is from the uh, 1996, oh, sorry, 95 uh, Fleer uh, X-Men set. Now, there's the Fleer X-Men set, and then I only found out about these uh, not too long ago that I, I found out that Fleer did a Chromium version. So I just handpicked one out of the few that I have, and it's uh, it's one of my favorite 
Marvel villains. Not all-time favorite, but one of. And it's uh, none other than Apocalypse himself. You can see how shiny that sucker is. So, so there's comic book cards. As well, uh, I love Magic the Gathering. Now, I could have pulled a ton of Magic the Gathering cards, but I went with two because um, they're from a very odd Magic the Gathering set. Uh, these two cards are from Magic the Gathering uh, Unglued, which was kind of a, a novelty set that, that came out in 98. And uh, I think to date, uh, this is still considered the biggest uh, monster that was ever released. And that's why they had to put two cards out for it. And it's none other than the BFM or the big furry monster who is a 99.99. <laughs> or the biggest, baddest, nastiest, scariest creature you'll ever see. <laughs> So there's that. Also, uh, I love cards that happen to feature my hometown. So I live in Montreal, Quebec, and I just so happen to have a couple of uh, Opeechee cards here. These were from the 1819 Opeechee Coast to Coast set, and uh, in the Landmarks of the North subset, uh, there is a card featuring basically the downtown core of Montreal. And there's also one with the St. Joseph's Oratory on it, which is very cool because I live about maybe, I don't know, walking, say 20 minutes away from here. So, yeah, that is very, very cool. So, there you go. As well, um, I love Garbage Pail Kids. Who doesn't? And uh, when it comes to GPK, if you're going to showcase some GPK, you got to go where it all began. So, I don't have the whole set but I have a damn near complete set of OS1. Now, they're not in the best shape, but I have a good chunk of them. And yeah, that's probably one of my pride and joys right there, Atom Bomb. I wish I had a Nasty Nick, but that's still a very expensive card. But uh, yeah, I uh, have a almost complete OS1 OS set. So, there are a few I'm missing. I'm missing, you know, TV Stevie and and um, there's a couple others, but uh, yeah. So, that's that. Also, I love sets that aren't really talked about all that much. So, keeping that in mind, I have this set right here, which is complete. And this is from 1980. Uh, it's from Tops, and it's a set called Weird Wheels. And uh, basically, it's, um, well, just looking at the design of the cards, here I'll put them like this because they're pretty much all landscape cards. I mean, just looking at the cards, uh, you get huge uh, Ed Big Daddy Roth vibes from looking at these. You know, you got the a caricature of, of someone with, with the car and just, yeah, you know? So, I, I again, love, love, love stuff like this and I know there's a lot of it out there <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> you know so yeah and I never 
hear folks talk about this this set. And how I came across this set was uh, one day, a couple years back, I was just, you know, looking around on Facebook Marketplace. I was still kind of a noob to Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I saw a guy, he was sell selling just a random lot of cards. It was just a whole mixed bag of stuff. And there was a couple of these 1980... Uh, weird wheel cards in there and uh, as soon as I saw them I was just like my eyes just like locked in on them and I was like I want those and I contacted the guy and I was like I'll take the lot and basically I, I got the lot just for for those couple cards and actually last week I finally got the last card I needed for this set so now I have the complete 55 card set. So, and that's another thing too. A lot of these non-sports uh, sports card sets, they're small, so you could get a really good sized binder, and you could put a bunch of random sets in one binder. So, so once you get to the end of it, it's like boom, you don't lose interest. There's something else to look at. I love that. And the final non-sports related item I'm going to show off here um, is is a complete set that I picked up recently and um, this goes with uh, my my curiosity to start looking into older sets way older and when I say way older I'm talking like uh, 1938. At least I think these are from 38. And um, these are the, again, don't hold me to it, but I believe they're from 1938. Uh, the, what is it? Trains of the World. And these were issued by Gallagher Limited. So they're from the UK. And uh, that is exactly what they are. They're minis. They're tobacco cards featuring trains of the world. And in fact, my favorite card in this set is... Hold on. Let me find it. Ba -ba -ba. No. no that, that's one of them. That's nice. The Blue Comet. I love... These old streamlined engines, too. So cool. Uh, nowhere. Okay, hold, hold on a second. Let me find the card. Ba, 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 ba. No, no. Although that is a close candidate for a favorite, because that is just awesome. Uh, come on, where are you? That's a nice one, too. Flying Scotsman. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello, train. Where are you? Train. Of course, now when I say it's my favorite train, you're going to make me look silly. <laughs> oh, maybe it's in this stack. Hey, come on. Making me look bad, cards. <laughs> Ay. This is so embarrassing. I'm literally looking through every card in this set now to find that one card. Hey. No, no. Is it that one? No. This one? No. <laughs> uh, and the reason why I say it's it's my favorite is because it's Canadian. Go figure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find it, folks. I'm going to find it. I'm gonna find it. 
I said I'm gonna find it. <laughs> there it is. That little doozy right there. If the camera will focus. There we go. Look at that beauty. That's from the 6400 series. And there's actually a couple of these uh, that survived. They're in a museum in Ottawa. And, uh, yeah, just uh, beautiful. In fact, I, I actually got a second one that I actually plan on sending to uh, PSA to get graded. So, yeah. So there you go. My mixed bag of favorite non-sports stuff. And again, this this was just like the tip of the iceberg cuz again, I could have I could have pulled some GI Joe stuff. I have Impel Marvel stuff. Again, one of my favorite non-sports uh, card sets. It's not a complete set because it's like 180 cards and they're not exactly easy to get is my, my 1953 uh, Topps uh, World on Wheels cards. Those are some of my like pride and joy non-sports stuff. But um, yeah, this was, just, uh, this was just a taste. And uh, I hope those of you out there who are watching this uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, you know the usual routine. I don't have to go through it. Like, comment, subscribe if you'd like. But uh, this is really uh, to shed some light on uh, Commenting Collector's channel. Uh, again, he's sitting at 97 subs. So I want to send him a huge congratulations to getting to that point. But um, I'd really love to see him hit 100. As well... Um, he just celebrated his anniversary with his wife, so a huge congratulations on on that front as well. So, uh, yeah, awesomeness all around. So, anyway, folks, um, I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. So, uh, in the end, I hope you guys have a great remaining Wednesday. Hope you guys have an awesome week, and I will see you back here on Friday. So, till then, I say to you... Laters.